Hey, it's Tony here at Smart Toyota. Hey, this is the uh, interior overview on this brand new 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross XLE Edition. In this video, we're gonna cover everything inside. So let's get started. Okay, diving inside, let's uh, take a quick look at the uh, driver's door here. So the XLE trim does come standard with Softec fabric seats and so therefore you have a padded soft tech fabric armrest power windows the driver's window is uh, backlit here so you can see it at night power window lock power door locks power mirrors up front and then they do use this brushed aluminum style trim on here as well the door handle is a silver plastic door handle so it's not actually metal but this is kind of a faux brushed aluminum trim as well the upper part of the door is padded and they use the, uh, the stitching in here but it's not a contrast stitching like Toyota uses on so many other vehicles and then down here there's a bottle holder uh, pocket there for odds and ends and then a speaker in the door as well the uh, threshold is not protected in terms of down here so you could pick up some scratches there. There are some accessories for that if that's what you're looking for. Take a quick look at the uh, dashboard from this side. So it is a padded dashboard, uh, but this is faux stitching here. There's four vents across the front here, up, down, left, and right, and then they are surrounded by that brushed aluminum trim. And there's also a side window defroster right there as well for the forced air. As far as switches down on the uh, lower panel, this is your automatic high beam on and off, dimmer switch for your dash lights, and then they do have some blank spots for additional accessories as well. Now this does have fog lights, but the switch for that is up on the uh, stock there. Hood release, dead pedal, brake pedal, gas pedal, all where you would expect. And then we'll take a look at our seats. Driver's seat is a full power seat on the XLE with power lumbar support and the power recliner. And then the seats themselves, they are soft tech fabric seats. So we've got a gray contrast stitching in the seats. They're very comfortable seats. That's not leather. It's soft tech or vinyl combination. We do have a height adjustable headrest as well as a height adjustable seat belt and the XLE trim. Uh, does come standard with heated seats up front, so two, two position high and low heated seats up front. Do have a uh, tilt steering wheel. It's manual there, and then it is also telescoping, so you can slide it in and out, but it's not available as a power uh, steering wheel. Let's uh, jump in the driver's seat and take a look. Okay, behind the wheel on the Corolla Cross XLE Edition, uh, the leather wrap steering wheel is padded. Leather wrap is standard on XLE. Of course, we have the driver's side airbag, Toyota's typical three-spoke steering wheel with some brushed aluminum trim here. Ties in really nicely with the door handles and the door trim and up on the mirrors. So real nice style. Um, we do have fingertip controls here on the right-hand side. This is the cruise control. Uh, settings, dynamic radar, cruise control adjustment, lane departure on and off, and then sound system controls here. And then on this stock here, this is for you going to be for your front washer wipers. And also there's the switch for a rear washer wiper. And both of them are intermittent and both of them do have um, washers as well. And then over on the left hand side, these are the controls for the information center, the multi-information center, which is up here. We'll get to that in just a minute. And uh, then we've got Bluetooth connectivity for our smartphone, voice activation, and the volume for your uh, sound system is here as well. What's missing on the steering wheel that used to be on Toyota steering wheels is the automatic temperature control. Uh, this does have automatic temperature control, but no fingertip controls. When they added the cruise control here versus down here, they did away with the automatic temperature control on most vehicles. Um, as far as the view out the front from here, it's pretty darn good. Uh, the tablet really doesn't obstruct very much at all. And the other thing is the Corolla Cross does have huge outside mirrors, so they cover a lot of space 
and minimize blind spots with the outside mirrors. Take a look at the uh, gauge cluster. So this is going to be your XLE trim on here. I'm just gonna try to darken it out a little bit. And so the XLE comes standard with the seven inch multi-information center. I'll start it up so you can see what it looks like. XLE also comes with the smart keyless entry system and it also comes with push button start. So we'll go ahead and put our foot on the brake and start it up. You can see the crawl across animation there. Love the blue gauges. We'll take a look at the center stack here as well. There's always a safety notice, so you do have to tap that button to move past the safety warning. Okay, so we'll take a look down here at the instrument cluster. This is uh, unique for the XLE trim. So this is the uh, the bright blue and red and black. It's super colorful gauge, this, this uh, gauge cluster. So on the left is the tachometer, uh, and that is mechanical. So you've got needles on that side. On the right is going to be your fuel gauge and your engine temperature gauge, which are also mechanical. But then right smack dab in the middle is a seven inch uh, multi-information display. So that's gonna be a virtual display there. And uh, you can see this is all just like a computer screen. So we've got outside temperature. It does have a snow warning because there's a temperature outside. It could snow outside here today, uh, definitely below 32 degrees. And then uh, there's a digital clock up there. There's also a, another clock over here, so plenty of places to tell the time. Uh, but this area here is where you use your fingertip controls to, to toggle through and take a look at your fuel computer, your lane tracing on and off, your uh, uh, trip meter, and then you can move through some of your safety sense. So we've got lane tracing assist, pre-collision, blind spot monitoring, pr uh, parking assist, rear cross traffic alert, tire pressure sensors. There's a lot of technology in this ride. Um, lane tracing assist, road sign detection. So a lot of technology. The XLE uh, Corolla Cross has all of Toyota's latest technology. Uh, from a per perspective of safety. So super safe car, uh, can't say that enough about Toyota products. They are all about safety. So our center stack, this is going to be, what is it, uh, I believe an eight inch touch screen. And we're home now, we can switch over to our audio. We've got AM, FM, we've got Cirrus satellite radio. You get three months of their platinum service, which is everything at no charge. After that, uh, it is a monthly subscription. Um, in addition to having Sears XM Satellite, we do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible. Um, of course, we do have a small app suite, and you can also uh, run uh, a navigation um, system off of your uh, phone for this as well. So back over to the audio. Um, so this does not have navigation as standard. It is an app that currently is not installed on this one. And then before I go away from here, I wanna show you the backup camera. So you can see we've got a yellow, red, and we have a uh, path projection. So it will tell you the direction that you're backing up. It's a nice uh, bright screen, easy to read, and there are some uh, perspective adjustments so you can change the grid and all of that by tapping on different settings. So easy to read, big enough to, um, to give you all the features without obstructing your view out the front. Here's two more vents. Automatic temperature control down here. Tap that and we can set it up. They do have the sync feature so you can set it up to mirror the passenger side. Turn that down a little bit. Sync that up. Front window defrost, rear window defrost with the heated outside mirror. So when you tap here, it'll uh, get the ice and snow off of the outside mirrors. There's also an eco mode. Uh, one feature that I think is unique is over here, this switch right here. This allows you to, if you don't have anybody sitting on that side, you can shut off the heating and air conditioning 
so you can get a little bit better fuel economy and use the switch right here to do that. Moving down the center uh, console, there's an another row of buttons here. So I mentioned heated seats, two position, driver, front driver, front passenger. There's a USB port right here, and then there's a blank space right here for other accessories. It is a really nice intuitive driving experience. Everything is really right there, easy to find, um, super comfortable, especially if you're smaller like I am. Uh, there is on the XLE edition standard wireless charging so right up in here you can just drop your smartphone and wireless charge and if you need to plug in you've got a plug right there to be able to do that. More of that uh, silver trim here in the center as well. There's a leather uh, wrapped shift lever, more gloss black trim with the brushed aluminum. Um, in front of the shifter there's two switches one for traction control on and off and then this one is the auto engine start on and off right here so if you wanted to shut off the engine at stoplights those types of things and then turn back on you can set it up there and that helps to get better fuel economy some folks like it some don't so you can uh, choose your preference uh, moving back we've got our electric electric parking brake our parking brake hold by the way, the Corolla Cross does have electric steering as well, so electric steering and electric brakes. Down here, there's two cup holders, um, and there's the key fob. There's my glasses. And then we'll swing around here. I wanted to show you the center armrest here. So it's a nice size armrest, big enough for one, maybe two elbows if they're skinny ones like mine. Uh, it is. Uh, soft tech fabric wrapped and then a little bit of storage is kind of sm on the small side here but there is another um, old style plug in there as well so if you want to plug in your radar detector or something like that you can do that there here's a quick look at the passenger uh, seats and then we've got a passenger assist grip up there the uh, vanity mirrors on both sides do do have lights and then they also slide over and then they also have extensions so a lot of great amenities I think for me the XLE trim has everything you want uh, you could upgrade on this one to a JBL audio system or a power sliding moonroof for extra charge not something I'm interested in but without the moonroof there's a lot of uh, extra headroom Overhead, there's reading lights right here. I've got them turned on. They're LED and they kind of wrap around. So you can see how they kind of swivel around here. So that's kind of nice at night. Gives you much more light down the center console. One thing they don't have here that I have on my Prius is that my Prius has a little light, very small, but it shines down here and lights up all of this area right here. I really like that at night driving. Add some lighting down here with and it's not hard on your eyes you can turn on all, all the lights with this switch here you can set it up to come on when the doors open uh, there's a safety connect right here that's for roadside assistance so if you have issues out on the road Toyota push that button and Toyota will get you the help you need all part of the Toyota care package that comes standard and the roadside assistance the XLE edition does have uh, the electric dimming mirror so there's a switch underneath here that you can set to automatically dim it does not have garage door openers um, not a deal breaker for myself but let me know in the comments if you would buy the one you can get it it's just an extra charge so let me know if that's something you might get uh, the dashboard's really nice it is padded more of that brushed aluminum trim going across course we have some speakers up there in the uh, windshield again we don't have JBL audio uh, but this is a pretty good sound system I guess if you're an audiophile you might not like it but for the average person I think it's a pretty good sound system uh, there's a glove box down here does not have a lock on it and there's your owner's manuals as well so that's a look at the uh, driver's compartment up front on the uh, Corolla Cross Let's uh, jump in the back seat. Here's a quick look uh, at the driver's compartment from the back seat. 
pretty darn good visibility back here. As far as amenities go, there's uh, vents down here, heating vents. There's USB charging ports way down there. There's no pocket on this seat, but there's a pocket on the back of this seat. As far as the doors go, the silver handles here, there's a cup holder right there, power window switch. There's a speaker down here in the door. It's really comfortable back here for an adult, two adults, three adults for short rides. This would make a pretty good Uber car or a Lyft car because you can get three adults back here for short trips, but you get that good gas mileage too. Soft tech fabric seats back here, three seat belts, child seat anchors down here, height adjustable headrest here. Uh, the back seats do fold down, so you can drop this down 60%. Notice I was able to do that without getting out, without taking the headrest out. Here's those tethers for the child safety seats back here. I'll bring that back up. There is a folding armrest right here. Comes out and has two more uh, cup holders here. Overhead lighting is an LED light kind of central to the back seat so it should provide good light back here at night and there is a lot of great headroom back here I kid you not guys take a look at how much headroom I've got a hand of headroom now I'm not the tallest guy in the world um, five seven but nice headroom uh, up there by the way this is my microphone if you ever wondered how I capture audio that's how I do it got it hooked right up to my hat pretty cool all right let's jump in the trunk and take a look okay heading into the trunk I did want to let you know that the Corolla Cross does not come standard with the power lift gate it is an option this one does not have that option but you can get it when you bring up the lift gate there is a handle right here so if you did need to bring it down and you're shorter you can grab onto it there as well nice large opening on the Corolla Cross um, this would easily fit two sets of golf clubs across the back in my opinion. The uh, retractable cargo cover, standard on, an, on the um, XLE trim, which this one is. It's got a nice uh, flat floor here, uh, and then on the right hand side there's a storage compartment. There's also one on the uh, passenger side there, but a nice place to be able to throw your odds and ends so they don't roll around in the back and there's a cargo light over on this side there's that extra cargo area your spare tire jack and tool kit they're down underneath here so this whole thing can come off and then you've got a temporary spare tire there's your jack and then there's little storage cubbies along here as well which I think would come in pretty handy for stashing your odds and ends stuff and then this whole thing just slides right back back up in there like so there's cargo hooks also right there right there and then along the bumper here as well so plenty of places to stash your stuff this one has the optional all-weather floor liners which are those rubber floor mats curl across on there there's a box of uh, the front ones are right there as well so those do cost extra and then of course the back seats fold down this just pops out like so drop it down swing around here go ahead and bring that seat down and take a look at how much uh, how much cargo room there is so both of these back seats can come down but there's it's probably about six feet all the way up to the front there so plenty of room for snow skis and what have you. So that's the uh, 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross interior video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And then also check for a link in the description for a link to the exterior video. So this is your interior overview. And then I have a separate video where I did the interior. Like I say, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you're in the market for a new Toyota, Toyota Corolla Cross, give us a call here at Smart Toyota. 
uh, or go to our website and check out our inventory, smarttoyota.com. Thanks for watching.